we're gonna fly right into a story about in and out hi I'm Christina and I'm Randy are you ready for an adventure come see our journey today at the in and out museum the In-N-Out hamburger chain has a museum located at 13766 Francisquito Avenue in Baldwin Park. It's open from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Thursday through Sunday only. So we've come to the In-N-Out Museum. Check this out. There's a big old sign. There's your palm trees, you crisscrossing. Hey, in and out's right next to the freeway. This is a replica of the original building, which now is underneath the freeway. This is so cool. The original in and out opened at 4 p.m. on October the 22nd, 1948 in Baldwin Park. Harry and Esther Snyder opened the business right near their home in Baldwin Park. Harry died in 1976 from lung cancer, but Esther lived on and carried on with the business until 2006 when she died. Esther had her son Richard run the business until he died in a plane crash in 1993. After Esther Snyder passed away, Lindsay Snyder, who is currently 36 years old, inherited the entire business. Mm -hmm. Lindsay Snyder now has a net worth of $3.6 billion. When Harry Snyder died, there were 18 stores. There are now 358 locations located in California, Nevada, Arizona, Utah, and Oregon and one in Colorado. Last year, In-N-Out had a revenue of $625 million. They have a person working at the museum to answer any questions you may have about In-N-Out and its history. Sold cigarettes in the cigarette machine here. <laughs> you could get your In-N-Out and a cigarette too. When was the last time you saw one of those for one cent? A one cent cigarette. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Cars all the time. Sometimes we'll just take family photos or Photos, period. There was, I was asking if there's another young gentleman around here taking photos. So she offered us to take a walk inside and see what the original looked like. Oh my goodness. Look it. Check it out. Oh my gosh, look at all of these old photos. There are many old photos of Harry and Esther Snyder and their house, along with pictures of the wonderful drive-through that they created. We were built in 48. So the freeway would have gone right on top of the original, so they had to knock it down. And then they built on this side, but when they built here, you guys, they didn't build the same building. They built a two-lane, which is right there. Oh. Um, that one stood here from 54 to 2014. But that was here? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And then when they knocked that down, they replicated the original. Oh, okay. Yeah. But the original, original, original is like under under where the freeway is now. Yeah, right? it would be. It's gone. They knocked it down mm -hmm. under where the freeway is, and this is where they lived. They lived right here. Oh, they lived right next to. So door. here's In and Out, and they lived right there. Mm -hmm. Very cool. So those people lived right there. Oh, uh, very cool. Yeah. So there's That's that awesome. little shack you guys see. See, there's there's a the shack he's sitting in front of. <laughs> oh, where you would with peel the bucket. potatoes. Yeah, with oh, the buckets. See, there's wow. the buckets there. Yeah. There's a 50 pound bag of potatoes there. <laughs> and we still do those buckets. We call them doing buckets. So, um, 
they come in in the morning and they start peeling the potatoes. They just pour it in that machine, and then but they still have to get a potato peeler and get all the imperfections off the potato. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. This is great that all these pictures are here and there's so much history. Yeah, you guys. I don't know if you guys remember this movie called. You yeah. see no cross palm trees here, right? Yeah. No, no cross palm trees. This came from a movie called It's a Mad Mad, yeah. the, the Cross Palm Trees. Remember that movie, It's a yeah, Mad Mad was, Mad World? It was in San, because, uh, Santa Monica. And it was, it's a, yeah. it's a W. Big W, but these knuckleheads were looking for the $250,000 that was buried under a big W. Well, in between you see the big X. The, that marks it. Well, Harry used to fall in and out as a treasure. He loved this oh. movie. So he incorporated the Cross Palm Trees <laughs> in the 70s. This came out in 63, so in the 70s he started implanting the cross palm trees at all the in and out yeah. X marking the spot in and out being his treasure. Oh so my That's gosh. why I wasn't here before because the movie hadn't even come out and he didn't come up with the idea until later. That's pretty cool. So the crossed palm trees for in and out came from It's a Mad 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 World. After knowing that, we'll always know that X marks the spot where Harry's treasure is. All in and outs are built with that trademark X palm tree, and you'll also see it on the, on the packaging and cups and fry boats as well. So I guess this is the 10 by 10 building and they had to move it uh, because of the freeway. So this was not something that was was original, unfortunately. Wow. There's your old speaker. <laughs> so a two-way speaker became the ultra-modern thing of the future to order your food. Yeah, we left, they left me alone in the museum. Oh my goodness. There's a guest book here. You can sign it. Look at there's we love it here. Um wow. We love in and out. Everybody loves in and out. Love your burgers. How cool. Take a step back in time. Pretty cool. Look at there's the building. That's very cool. Look at the old Coke machine. Is that working? Oh, Ooh. they got waters in there. You got cold water. <laughs> yeah. Keep, keeping the water cold. <laughs> Look at it. This is where they kept the ice trays. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Look at the cheese slicer. It's a, it's a cold spot and it's still running. It's still working. Here's the potato dunker that they even still use today. And here's a potato peeler, but of course they don't use the potato peeler now. But this here is your old style cheese slicer. And the only way they could keep cool at that time was a nice fan. Here. Okay. A block of cheese here, and as you turn it, it goes to the left and slices the block of cheese. Isn't that cool? That is so cool. <laughs> this is an original potato dicer over here. We literally had our hands on that in the 40s and 50s. We had that in our warehouse, and um, and they pulled it out and put it. We had. Yeah, but I noticed the potato peeler, but we don't. They don't. You don't peel yeah, the yeah, potatoes. Yeah, we don't now because we have. So many fries that were dicing, or potatoes that we diced all day long. Mm -hmm. Now it goes into a, a machine that it fans off of the layer of the pilling, mm -hmm. uh, or the rind rather, and then we still use... Um, they still use the onion, right? We definitely still use a dicer, but now, see how ergonomically painful it would be to do yeah. hundreds right. of potatoes yeah. a day? Now, it's if you look through the window when you're in the drive, they put both hands on it, so it's a lot easier. So they'll put a potato in, and then they put a potato in, and then, so it's like a bar that goes across instead. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> the dyes, if you leave them, just sit out. Oh, <laughs> yes, they do. So you keep them in water, but you can't just scoop them out and put them into the hot fryer, or that oil and water is just going to yeah, pop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So 
before he, the owner came up with using the washer as a potato spinner or a salad spinner, they used to dry off the water off of the diced potatoes in them, but that, that became very um, time consuming as the more customers we got. So they would scoop it out, put it here. This would spin, just spin it. And then this comes up and then you're able to <laughs> place the dry cool. diced potatoes into the fryer without getting wow. popped with oil. It's just a washing machine uses a potato what? spinner or a salad spinner. How do, how do they wash the potatoes now? The, uh, we wash the potatoes. Okay. Um, but we just have 50, and we had 50 pound bags of potatoes then as well. You saw the picture where the guys yeah. peeling potatoes yeah, yeah, yeah. by hand. Well, that was a little shed right behind in and out and um, they would do the prepping there. Just buckets, big buckets of potatoes. They go in water, they're washed before they go in the water, and then they're diced, and yet another sink of water. Oh. So that's what we do now. Very good. Yeah. Same thing, just, cool. a, a, just a, it's, it's just more in order. Yeah. Then it was wash there, pour in water here, spin here, and then go back into the kitchen. Now it's just like, boom, 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 in a straight right. line. Yeah. Right. Very cool. <laughs> the money draw here. Yeah. That's the money drawer. See the money drawer? Yeah, that's the money drawer. That's pretty, <laughs> that's pretty cool. It is cool. And that was the cash register. <laughs> yes. the, the bathroom was no, next door. the Louvre. The Louvre. <laughs> the Louvre was next door. That's pretty cool. People in the western United States line up so that they can enjoy their fresh hamburgers at in and out their advertisement is in and out that's what a hamburger is all about if you think that it's odd to learn about a fast food hamburger you haven't been to in and out so christine is learning all about in and out So coming back to the sign, it says that Harry and Esther sold 57 burgers and they when they welcomed their customers and they took the orders through the window on a two-way speaker. This is the, actually the replica. I wanted to show the sign in the background, see? After we were done seeing things at the museum, we went to the other side of the freeway and went to the In-N-Out University and the In-N-Out Drive-In so that we could have lunch and buy some souvenirs also. That's In-N-Out's University. They actually have a university. And an In-N-Out company store. There you go. Yeah, she's going shopping again. She found a store, even at in and out <laughs> Lots of shirts and other clothing to buy that are in and out specialties. Naturally, she bought a bag full of crap. <laughs> Then we went in and got ourselves some lunch at in and out and I'll be darned. They said, no filming, no filming in here. You'll hear it pretty soon. I don't know how anything could be top secret about making hamburgers. Well, I'm sorry, but we don't allow any filming in here. Okay. Thank you. Uh, they have grilled onion, mustard, and pickles. There you go. And some fries. Fresh fries. Oh, lined up at the door. <laughs> Just like normal. Yeah. After a museum, a company store, and lunch, we had to do something that most people don't do. We went down the road in Covina to Forest Lawn Memorial Park to pay our respects to Harry and Esther Snyder, the founders of the in and out drive through chain. Forest Lawn Memorial Park in the Covina Hills is located right off of the freeway, right down the road from the museum. 
Harry and Esther are buried right there. And this is in, and there's the entrance to get in, and the gate, and right up from the gate, there's Harry and Esther. Happy birthday, Esther. Can't wait. Here. Well, he said he never gave up. As Harry Snyder was the, the founder of In and Out Burger. Doesn't say that, but that's what he was. And then his wife is buried right next to him. His wife is buried right next to him. And that was Esther Snyder. And her birthday was January the 7th. We were pretty. Happy birthday. She's a Capricorn. Yeah, we were pretty close to her birthday there. Picture the, the White Cap Mountains because we got some mountains with some snow, <laughs> a little bit. California got some snow. As you drive into the forest lawn in Covina, the grave sites are located just above the guard shack as you enter. Since we made a day out of In and Out, we drove all the way over to Westchester uh, to watch the airplanes come in at the <laughs> in and out burger right there near the LAX airport. <laughs> this is the one place that people from out of town stop at the in and out before they get on an airplane and enjoy a burger. There's a park directly across from the In-N-Out Burger at the LAX airport and people go and sit and watch the airplanes have an In-N-Out and you can watch them land the airplanes right there on the runway. Always a line at in and out. You gotta love watching those planes. <laughs> Cause it's insane. If you enjoyed our vlog, please subscribe. And ring that notification bell. And give us a like. It lets us know you care. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye.